do you guys want to see happening now with the green climate? Thursday, the second to the last day, is in a way more typical than the last day. Yeah, you know, you start at seven in the morning. National meetings at eight o'clock. G77 at nine o'clock. Consultations with your colleagues in other countries, ten to twelve. Meeting from three to seven p.m. Meeting again from nine thirty to one thirty. Uh, in all that process, trying to arrive at an agreement. Sometimes you can eat if you're lucky. Sometimes you don't eat, and you just munch a chocolate bar or a biscuit uh, when we go. We're um, trying to finalize the agreement on the LCA Red Plus finance agreement, which is about payments for the result space phase. So that is basically the uh, the um, what we need to do this this afternoon. Uh, the, the the parties will have to negotiate uh, uh, how many three paragraphs. That's what they have to do. You know, over a hundred governments will be here. And your role? I'm I, I'm the facilitator. So yeah. what does that entail? But it means I'm the one that's responsible for trying to have to broker an agreement uh, for this uh, for this topic, which is the Red Plus finance. And which countries are moving it ahead, and which are no, everyone's moving ahead. So this is actually the, the good thing about Red Plus is it's practically all the countries of the world. I mean uh, that have forests certainly. Um, and the developed countries are actually interested in helping out, so it doesn't have the dynamics that other negotiations have. So, you know, hopefully we will be able to arrive at an agreement. Yeah. I'll go inside now. Sorry, it's on yeah. You're not allowed. Um, you can probably film from there. We were we were um, negotiating after midnight, so I, um, uh, it was just a tough negotiations. Um, but I think I say we were able to clear up 50 percent to 60 percent of the tax, but we still have major disagreements, particularly on markets and and how markets can be used for red, uh, you know, to, to get resources and finances for for red plus. So that, that's still uh, that's still up in the air. Um, so the, the day is, we'll spend the day negotiating that, I mean, this afternoon until midnight again to try to see if we can arrive at an agreement. But, but we're close. It will be difficult, it will be hard, but, it's, but we're, we're close to achieving an agreement. And how does it work between your role as facilitator of the red negotiations and then on the uh, Filipino delegation? Uh, as a facilitator, you're not a Filipino, right? But you are yourself, so you do have your priorities and your agenda. But your agenda is really subsumed under the agenda of your colleagues uh, who drive this process. This is what's called a party-driven process. So the facilitator, good facilitator, helps the parties move forward fast. You know, um, but he, he cannot afford, or that the good facilitator should not. Um, take the wheels and run regardless of where the other parties want to go. Then you would have a contradiction, the other parties want to go here, other parties want to go to the right, to the left, backward. Uh, so you have to know that and manage that well so we're all moving forward even if sometimes it's slower than usual. Sir, there's no filming in here. Ah, no filming. No filming in here. The purpose of this is uh, to give you a briefing on the state of uh, the negotiations on Red Plus Finance. I mean, uh, and the only reason I'm doing this is because it's close meetings, and I believe, and, and the parties have actually given me sort of the mandate to brief different stakeholders. Essentially, last night we were able to settle that regardless of whatever financing options, that safeguards will be followed, there will be strong MRV, there will be an MRV, system to the different requirements of red plus will have to be followed that, that, that essentially has been 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 settled I have to say I'm very proud that I have pushed that envelope on transparency I tweet about the negotiations I Facebook about the negotiations 
I do as I, I do briefings with NGOs, with uh, with the business, the private sector, uh, with uh, with indigenous peoples on red, because those are the three sort of key stakeholders. Whenever possible, I try to convince the parties to allow observers to to listen. So. It's a very secretive, confidential process, but I think it has potential of opening up and, and I feel very proud that I have opened up the, the process that I am responsible for, the Red Plus process. Don't misunderstand, the issues are not many. There's really just a couple of big issues and there's already language for those big issues. Uh, and it's just a couple of countries that are not accepting the, 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 what might be the compromise. Very tired, but I actually enjoy the work of negotiation uh, as long as you know uh, you're able to make a difference in trying to bring 195 countries. I, I think something like that now, nearly 200 countries together. There's nothing more satisfying than closing a deal that is a good deal, and I feel like in Red Plus we will have that.